Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited because I'm actually filming a curly hair video today and I feel like it's been maybe a month and a half since I filmed one. So I'm excited to be back. I know you love them. Um, the exciting thing is I'm today I'm going to be trying products that I used to love for my curly hair that I got sent once. Is there something on my face? No, just on my camera lens. Whatever. Guys, I've had my shower. I just use my basic um, shampoo and conditioner. I kind of switch between Functional Beauty, Bondi Boost, and um, the BB Curl range at the moment. That's what's in my shower. So I've been doing that. That's what I first started with. And today we're going to be trying products at, that I used to use maybe two years ago. And I was obsessed obsessed with these products i got them sent from a company but at that time i just i was i didn't have enough money to buy them again because um the shipping was really expensive and they're from the united states so if you're from the states the shipping is cheap and you'll have no issue buying them if you're from australia they might be a little bit more expensive but i'm really excited to be retrying them so what i used to love was this tali wajid um apple green apple and aloe nutrition curl definer and the um green apple apple, 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 apple green apple and aloe leave-in conditioner so what i used to love about these was firstly the smell is amazing secondly this curl definer had such a stick to it that gave my hair so much so 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 much hold without using a mousse so this is my hair right now drying with no product in it but it's been in a bun so it's so it's a bit fuzzy, um, so we're going to be styling my hair today with these new products that, I've that I haven't used in years. I'm very excited. So, oh, I'm also going to be filming this on, like, as a small reel for the Instagram. If you don't follow me there, you probably should. Also, this is my first video um, after telling you guys that I'm in Hamilton. So I am going to be in Hamilton the Musical here in Australia and the original cast and I am in an ensemble track which I'm so pleased about. It's my dream role and I'm actually playing the bullet. If you don't know what the bullet is in Hamilton, she's a particular role in the ensemble that um, brings a lot of death in the show. All the bullets, the bullet that, you know, kills Hamilton. Yeah, so I'm really happy. I'm so excited. We start rehearsals in January and I'm going to be doing a video very soon about kind of my whole journey as a performer and how that led me to Hamilton. Um, because it's freaking Hamilton, guys. I still cannot believe it. With the Talia Wajid products, what I love about them is firstly, Wajid, I'm guessing she's an Arab of some sort, Middle Eastern of some sort. It's a very Arab last name. Um, and I'm Lebanese, so she just like the formula, it just works for my hair. I don't have kinky, tight, tight, tight curls that are extra thick, but I still got a very spiral curl. Um, so it's not necessarily like Caucasian hair. Do you know what I mean? So I just feel like she's formulated a product that suits my hair type so well, so well. And, um, what it's got, green apple, the green apple nutrients is supposed to strengthen and balance the pH levels for optimal hair and scalp health. Scalp health is so important. I've talked about that a lot before in my um, why I don't follow the curly hair method video. It's got aloe nutrients that repair the hair and scalp. It's got coconut nutrients that moisturize and soften the hair. You can deep condition your hair with this, but I'm just going to use it as my leave-in styler today as a product that moisturizes my hair. So typically when I'm doing a hair routine, I will always start with a cream or a leave-in of some sort that's going to bring a lot of moisture to my hair. Um, yeah, that's what I'll start with. And then I'll move on to a definer of some sort. So a cream that's sticky, a mousse or a gel. So that's what I'm doing today, starting with the um, leave-in and then moving on to the definer. So my hair is probably a bit too dry. I'm going to add a little bit of water because I like to style like this is, no. So yeah, I'm going to add a little bit of water. Oh, I've got a film for TikTok. Oh, oh, oh. So just so it's not fuzzy anymore and so that the product is going to be able to go on my hair properly. Um, so a tip if you're confused about how to apply your product, you don't want it to be soaking wet and dripping, but you don't want it to be a bit dry and fuzzy. So kind of somewhere in between. Also, this is my room. If you haven't seen my new room, um, you can't see much of it right now. I've got just my bed, little plant and a bedside table here. I'm still waiting to get some of my um, stuff 
hung up so I still need to hang up my cross and some paintings and some um, art I've also got my 100,000 YouTube subscriber silver plaquey thing that I want to hang up so yeah I'm gonna be still doing that and then when that's done I'll probably show you a proper room tour not that it's big to tour but I'll show you my room um, probably like in a vlog or something okay so you can kind of see my hair it's not soaking but it's um it's wet everybody I've just kind of brushed through my hair to slightly define it with my denim brush oh you know I hate the feeling of wet hair on my back so I like to I just kind of loosely parted my hair sorry I was doing it on that video and then I like to kind of I don't always do this anymore but sometimes if I'm feeling it I will pull my curls away from my head kind of just twist it and then let it loose just so I get some nice definition from the Denman brush and I've learnt that pulling your hair away to get it off your scalp is just going to give you a little bit more volume and a tip if you're struggling with the back of your hair you can take a brush and pull away as well and then you give it a shake so that you're getting some volume at the back there which is typically a flat part of our hair so now that my hair has been brushed through and you know nice and defined I'm gonna add in my leave-in this is a spray form I'm not a big fan of sprays because I feel like I can't evenly get the product everywhere but you know I, you know what it's going in my hand look it sprays out pretty well though Ah, it smells exactly it's like kind of nostalgic even though it's only been a few years since I've used it I'm gonna start by very gently raking this through my hair um, my hair springs up very well so um, raking through doesn't stretch out my curls but if you're someone who has looser curls than me if you rake product through you might see that your curls um, don't spring back up as much so you might want to scrunch it in instead it's kind of up to you I'm gonna add a lot more I'm not going to overdo it, but just till my hair feels nice and moisturized. And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna scrunch it in just a little bit. My hair's looking nice. I love this, it feels so nice. So guys, I've styled both sides of my hair. Um, I'm getting some really nice ringlets and things and everything is definitely moisturized. I cannot believe how long my hair is right now. Ooh. So now it is time to move on to the definer. And I remember this product being my favorite. It's like a little uh, Elvis curl. Let's crack this baby open. Love it. So remember I said the texture of this is quite sticky. Yeah, it's like, it's not like a cream, like it's a sticky paste. Okay, so this is like a, the thickest product I've kind of used ever. But I'm going to work it through my hands. Can you see that? Like, it's a sticky, thick product. All I'm going to do with this is scrunch it into my hair. And, like, as I scrunch, can you see how it kind of sticks? This is going to help my curls have a lot of hold and volume. Just these fuzzy parts at the top. Give them a little twist, a little finger coil, if you will. Um, to get rid of that fuzz. I'm gonna show you the difference in my hair. Boom, boom. That is a good product. It's like, you're joking. My hair is been styled now. Very simply with those two products. I like to re-wet my hair, brush out my hair, um, and part it. Take a leave-in conditioner slash a cream through, and then add a um, product that gives volume and hold, something like a mousse gel or a sticky cream. So let's diffuse. I'm not going to show you that because I've recently done a video telling you how I do diffusing. So check that out and then um, I'll show you the finished results. Okay guys, so hair has been diffused. I'm not to be honest sure if it's 100% dry or not, um, but already definition is popping. And I wanted to show you that you know how I've been having a bit of trouble with um, how I'm underneath parts of my hair curling? We've got the texture back, guys. This is my proper hair texture, as you can see. Definitely 3A, some 3B spirals um, under here. Now, I oh, I think I want to diffuse it a bit more. No, it's okay. I'm going to give it a shake out now, guys. This is how I like to get volume and separate my curls. 
I'm probably going to hit it again with a diffuser after this just so it's really set. <laughs> So by going underneath, just don't want to fuzz up the top layer, but I really like volume. So if you don't like as much volume as me and you want to keep that definition and avoid frizz, I don't necessarily suggest shaking it out as much as I do. But if you're wondering why you have no volume, it's probably because you don't shake your hair out. <laughs> I'm going to hit it with the diffuser one last time and I'll be back. Okay. Uh, I went a bit far with the shaking on the top, so it's a bit fuzzy. <laughs> Here we are. I do want to mention my hair is extremely long right now. It's ugh, beyond long. If you look at it on the side, you know, my hair's very long. So I don't have as much shape and like roundness and volume as I did before when I cut my hair short. Um, but I really love having my long hair over the summer and I still feel like with a good routine, I'm getting a nice amount of volume and getting that definition still with the length which is something i really love i think this product just works so well for my hair don't know what that was but as you can see hair texture is looking really good under there everything's curling up nicely how it's supposed to I'd love if you could let me know what you think of this routine and those specific products if you tried them if you haven't i will leave a link below this isn't sponsored at all guys i just uh, i was really excited to like dive into these products and i wanted to share it with you because as i said before it has been a while um since oh, hello sir get back in your place it's been a while since i've done a hair video here on youtube so i'm coming back to my roots don't worry there will be plenty more coming up and i'm um, staging for a lot of things and videos about hamilton i'm so excited um hopefully in the next week there'll be one up about my journey and how i got here i wonder what she looks like from the back i cannot tell so everybody, thanks for watching. Um, leave your video recommendations and what you want to see, please, in the comment section so I can get a little bit of inspo. I love you guys and thanks for watching. Bye!